It's a new day! From the premier of Blue Cross Studio, New Day Northwest starts now. Good morning and welcome to New Day Northwest. I'm Michael King. They went deep into the bullpen. I'm subbing for Margaret this morning. And we are with YouTube superstar Wenji. Huge announcement about the Powerpuff Girls. Can't wait for that. So stay right here. We're going to get all saucy as well. Learn how to make hot sauce uh, music videos like you've never seen before as well. From the Lanky Box Boys and... Sassy Black is here. Uh, Seafair Weekend is also here, one of the Pacific Northwest's biggest summer traditions since 1950. From hydroplane racing to the Blue Angels, this is the event of the season. Here to help celebrate is a singer, songwriter, and producer who many know as uh, one half of the Seattle hip hop duo, The Satisfaction. Welcome back, Sassy Black. <laughs> Glad to be here. Nice to, nice to meet you, by the way. Yeah, nice to meet to you, too. To properly introduce myself. Yeah. So you're performing at Seafair? Yes, I am. I performed at the 4th of July, the Family 4th, and then I also performed uh, at the Torchlight Parade. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right, well, I want to see you do your thing. Oh, yeah. Take it away. Get down. Off you go. Yeah, thank you. a little song I wrote and produced called Wakanda Bounce. Hopefully it makes you bounce this morning, okay? In the land far away, melanated people, you know we don't play. Yes, we came to slay and save the day. Yes, indeed, we paved the way ever since T'Challa came and spoke to us. Now forever in Wakanda we trust and it's spreading across the land. A new style of dance called the Wakanda Bounce, Bounce, Wakanda Bounce, Bounce, more bounce to the ounce, ounce, in large amounts called the Wakanda Bounce, Bounce, Wakanda Bounce, 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 Bounce. Now you think it's a fable, but I know that you're able to cross your left fist under your right, right, right. You're feeling your spirit as soon as you hear it. And then you go and get your life, life. Ever since T'Challa came and spoke to us. Now forever in Wakanda we trust. And it's spreading across the land. A new style of dance called the Wakanda Bounce, Bounce. Wakanda Bounce, Bounce. More bounce to the ounce, ounce. In large amounts called the Wakanda Bounce, Bounce. Wakanda Bounce, Bounce. Bounce, Bounce. When you step through the door, you feel better than before. You've got a smile on your face from this mysterious place. The folks are black just like me, so majestic and free. And they inspire you to be all that you can be. Called the Wakanda Bounce, Bounce, Wakanda Bounce, Bounce. More bounce to the ounce, ounce, in large amounts. Called the Wakanda Bounce, Bounce, Wakanda. Bounce, 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 bounce. You put your left fist on your chest and your right fist just like this and bounce. You put your left fist on your chest and your right fist just like this and bounce. Yes, come on over. Pretty good, Sassy Black. That's fantastic. I don't know. Uh, I'm, fortunately, you couldn't see me, but I was doing the Wakanda bounce over here. <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. So that, tell us about that song. What is it, what is it all about? Um, I'm really nerdy, and so <laughs> I'm into um, comic books and things like that. I mean, I come from a family that like raised watching Star Trek and Star Wars right. and comic books and things like that. So when I saw Black Panther, I was really inspired, and I decided to make a project that I recently released called Wakanda Funk Lounge. And it's all about 
if I was asked to come to Wakanda and perform in one of their secret clubs, uh -huh. what would I perform? Okay, cool. So I created some songs and that's one of it, uh, Wakanda Bounce. That. Yeah. So have you had any kind of uh, attention from them? Have you told them about this? I haven't, but I did meet Winston Duke and I did meet uh, Denai Gu Guerra from uh, Black Panther, so I did meet them, but yeah. I was too, like, shell shocked <laughs> to be like, I have a song. Well, maybe <laughs> so, you can send them this tape, right? Maybe something maybe, will happen, right? That'd, that'd be, be kind of cool. cool. <laughs> really cool. Right, so where do you find, generally, where do you find the inspiration for your music? From all over the place. I mean, it's really cool being in Seattle because we have such a rich music community. And like y'all mentioned, like I used to be in a group called The Satisfaction and we were signed to Sub Pop. So I got to be like immersed mm, in Seattle yeah, music. for sure. And then Quincy Jones and, you know, Jimi Hendrix. I'm really inspired by that. But then also like kind of the environment of Seattle that we have the Space Needle. So it's like very sci-fi place. So I find mm -hmm. myself being inspired by the trees and space and all the water and all this just environment here in Seattle. I never really thought of that. You're right. The Space Needle, as it kind of looms over the horizon, is like this reminder to us that we have this history, this sci-fi feel. Absolutely. That's cool. You mentioned Quincy Jones and Jimi Hendrix. Yes. Is there one person? Can you narrow it down to one musical influence for you? Michael Jackson. Oh, okay. I oh, have a tattoo. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it says Thriller, if you can't see it. Yeah. Go. That's cool. So that would be your favorite album, right? I yeah. yeah. I mean, Quincy Jones came and did amazing things, and it changed yeah. like the history and traction, trajectory of music. Right. Well, Quincy certainly had something to do with Michael Jackson as well. Yeah. Right. So what, is there a favorite uh, song? Is that, is that it? Thriller? Thriller is one of my favorite songs, but I really love um, PYT. Oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. No, I, I don't it's think totally I've heard different. people say that one of, of you know, one of their favorites. Yeah, That's that cool. and Human Nature. That's oh, yeah. a really nice song, too. Yeah. I love that. So what's next for you? What do you, what do you what's the big, big goal? Well, this year I've been releasing a project a month to just try and get like my producer chops together and like really nice and firm. And uh, I'm working on my third album and my third solo album that's going to be coming oh, cool. out next fall. Uh, now you're going to Seafair. So what are your favorite yes. memories growing up around here? You know, it's funny. I've been living in Seattle for 21 years and uh, I've been involved in Seafair in so many different ways. I was in a production of Grease at Langston Hughes and I played Rizzo. And so throughout Torchlight, I had to dance the entire way in oh. heels and a pleather <laughs> skirt. It was crazy. Wow. I also dressed up um, like a water bottle. My dad used to work for the city of Seattle. <laughs> so he got us involved, <laughs> me and my younger brother. He's dressed up like Bert the Salmon and I was as a water oh, bottle. Excellent. And so we were in a parade there. And then um, I actually volunteered at the Family Fourth when I was 16 with my first boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I have a you lot of still great... together? Or... No. Okay. <laughs> we, we won't get into that. I don't want to talk about that. No. I noticed you kept your uh, beat machine over there. I, I, I want to play with that later. <laughs> yeah, you should definitely check it's it like out. It's a lot of fun. Right? It's well, pretty nice cool. To meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Have Thanks for having weekend. me. Right, we have actually have five pairs of tickets to attend the Seafair Weekend Festival this weekend, which includes the Albert Lee Appliance Cup hydroplane races and the Boeing Seafair Air Show featuring the Blue Angels. You know all about those guys. To enter to win, just go to the New Day Facebook page and comment with what you love most about Seafair on the pin post at the very top of the page. And if you're not heading out to Seafair Sunday in person this weekend, we'll be broadcasting the hydroplane races live from 3 to 6 p.m. on Kong or streaming on king5.com. Happy Seafair weekend to all. Well, after the break, uh, we, we will meet uh, Australia's number one YouTuber, Wenji. She is here next. <laughs>